In this video, we're going to show you how to sharpen a chainsaw. First, we're going to set up a stump vise. Next, we're going to use a measuring tool to figure out chainsaw pitch and what file to use. Next, we're going to go over how to sharpen the cutter. And lastly, we're going to show you how to lower the depth gauge on a chainsaw. Hello, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. And what I like to do on my channel is share tree climbing tips with beginners and experts. Today what I wanted to do is go over on how to, how I file a chainsaw or sharpen a chainsaw. All right, let's get to it. I recently bought this Oregon chainsaw sharpening kit. Um, I'll show you the cover of it. This is the cover of it. And I thought this was really cool. So for, for all the years that I've been in tree care, I've always um, sharpened my chainsaw without using a gauge. Uh, out in the field and just use this, the saw, the file and sharpen the saw. Having a gauge and some of these other components are, are good and they can help you maintain your, sharpen your chain a little bit better. Um, so I just kind of wanted to show you what's in this kit. Um, I'll start off, it has this stump vise, it's really pretty cool. So if you're out in the field, you can um, knock it to a stump and hold your bar and chain in place. A couple of um, round uh, chainsaw file handles. It has a fouling wedge. Some guys I could use this to make their chain sharper when they're sharpening it. A scrunch for taking off your, your bar and chain. This is a file guide. This is nice because it, it helps hold your file in place so you don't go too deep while you're cutting. This is good. This little um, screwdriver is good for adjustments. I think some of the newer chainsaws you can't do it with, but um, used to be that you can use uh, uh, for adjustment on your gas. This is a nice measuring tool to help you figure out um, the different parts of your chain. And I'll use this for uh, figuring out the pitch in a minute. This is a nice um, tool for figuring out the depth gauge, the height of your depth gauge. That's what we use this for. And this is a file for sharpening your depth gauge. And here are your round chainsaw files. Um, 530 seconds, I think, and I don't even remember the different sizes they got. But you got, here it's pretty cool because it shows you 530 seconds, 3 16 and 730 seconds. Pretty nice, nice set. So um, let me get this out of the way and I'll get to um, showing you how some of this stuff works. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get the stump vise and I'm gonna um, knock it into this chunk of wood here so I'm just going to do it by using a piece of uh, wood all right hopefully that'll hold it grab the chainsaw uh, place it in the vise uh, probably go about right maybe around here okay tighten it up all right cool now I want to see so, all right, usually you should have gloves. I didn't, I didn't bring any gloves. So now I know it'll move freely and it's holding it in, in a nice, it's not moving, so it's perfect. Next, I'm gonna use this chainsaw measuring tool. And so what you wanna do is you wanna measure from this cutter to, to this cutter here. So you line these two holes up and it tells you if it's 404. So I'm gonna go here and measure it and you can see that it's off. So next I'm gonna to go to this next measuring portion and here you go from this cutter to this one and it shows you that it's, it's 3 8 pitch. Really cool, so on this Oregon instructions they show you that on their chart here that if it's 3 8 pitch um, that you could use a 5 30 seconds file really cool so now that i figured it's 3 8 pitch i can grab a file well i know this is a short one but or a thin one and it has these holes here to figure out what um file you have this is 5 30 seconds you know and if you had a different pitch then you can look on that and it would tell you which file you should be using so for this one we're going to use a 5 30 seconds so let me get it ready i'm going to get a handle get it ready on here okay and then what I'll talk about a little bit is 
the cutter, the chainsaw cutter itself. So with these cutters, you have this top edge here and then you have a side edge. And then this, this portion, this round portion is a gullet. So the important part to sharpen is this tarp, top edge and the side edge. This is a depth gauge. So if you envision that all of these chainsaw cutters are like little chisels and when it cuts, it takes little flakes of wood. So this depth gauge right here, having this only allows you to take so much off. So what happens in time, if you start filing this edge down, these are angled downward. So then what happens is your cutter gets below the depth gauge. So what, what you need to do also is you get, your, you get this sharpened and then you're gonna um, drop down the depth gauge. So we'll, we'll talk about that. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'll get set up with the, um, the file gauge. So a lot of people will you do the filing without a gauge. So they'd go here, they'd put their file, and they'd run it, run it, you know, up against this and go straight across, right? And a lot of times with that, you can move at different angles. You can drop too deep. So what's really cool about this gauge is it's going to hold you up to where the cutter is. And then to, to on this one, it's real simple. To install it, you just pop this little thing and pop this. Then you get your file. You bring it to here and you just clamp it back in place. And now it's, it's ready to, to use. So you have these little lines here. Now what those lines are gonna do is show you what angle your cutter's at and, and that's, you know, try, you could try to stay true to that. So I'll line it up right here. So I'm gonna put it to the cutter. See how you see the cutter there? And now what I'm gonna do is line these, put these lines to the, to the, the chainsaw bar. Now you can see if I'm in line with the chainsaw bar, that angle is off. So now what I'm gonna do is I'll go to the next angle. I'll go to the 30 and I'm gonna line that 30 to the chainsaw bar. And I think it looks a little bit off to me still. So I'm gonna go to the next one. And right here, it looks to me like I'm gonna try to hold a 25 degree angle. So what, what normally you want to do is you want to look at all your chains, which we did. And if you have some that look really bad, you probably want to start on your worst one first and, you know, then go into motion. So see if you can have a look at that. Now, can you get a close up of that? What that looks like from this view going that way. So this is before we start. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get up here, go to this 25 degree angle, get it set. And with this, what you want to do is try to keep it level. You don't want to be moving it left and right. You don't want this to be angled because you're going to try to keep it straight. So now that I have this angle, I'm going to scoot back and try to hold it. And when I get into my motion, now what I'm going to do is just go forward. That's one, two, three. And see how it looks. I'll go number four. I'll go four. Let me see. Okay, now it looks pretty clean. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is go down the line. So I did this one. I like to lock my bar in place. So I'm gonna lock the bar. So I'm gonna try to find my angle, the 25, and then I'll just go into motion. And just keep on doing that. You want to lift out. You don't really have to lift all the way out, but you don't wanna um, use a file going backwards because you can dull the file and so I'll, you go all the way down the line when you do this You do one whole side and then you get to the next Okay, now that I've reached the end, 
with this guide, I can grab the chain and move it. So I don't have to touch it with my fingers. Now I'm gonna lock my chain in place. Now some people like to get the wedge and stick it in here to make it tighter. But I find if I just lock the bar, I'm, I'm pretty good. And then, you know, get it guide in there. Drop it in place. Yeah, and especially, you know, when you're doing it freehand, it doesn't mean that you're going to have it completely perfect. Let me see here. I will finish the rest of the bar up, and we'll get back to you when we get to the other side. So now I've finished this side, and for me, I like to get on the opposite side. Some guys can stay on the same side and maybe file to themselves, but for me, I'd, I'd rather just go to the other side and then get it lined up. You know, go to, get it lined up. Have the, the look, yeah, 25, and you know, you could even eye it really, but now I'm going to do the count on this side, and I'll start filing. And then I'll just keep on going down the line through all of them until they're all complete. Now that I've filed on both sides and, um, you know, on the cutters on the chainsaw here, the next thing that I'm going to want to do is to use the um, depth gauge guide here so um, I can lower the depth gauge if it's necessary. So what you want to do is put it on your chain. Now this is the one that goes to both sides. So you just put it down and what you're going to do is get the flat file in the kit and then you're going to file across. You can fill the depth gauge and what you'll do is till you don't fill it anymore till it's not um, lowering it. So you can see it's barely doing a little bit at a time right because it's not really super necessary. Now I'll just go to one behind it and, and you just do the same thing. Oops I'm sorry put it on top and and you file it till you don't fill it anymore. And you can see, it's just barely any little off the top coming on that. Now, if your cutters were filed really far back, then you might take a lot of your depth gauge off. But here, you do it till you just don't fill it anymore. There you go. That's enough there. So I'll go to the next one, put it on top, and file it till you don't fill it. Anyways, this is what you do through the whole saw. Um, yeah. So I'll finish it off, but I'm not going to show it. <laughs> there you go. So now I've completed um, all the cutters and even the depth gauges throughout the whole um, chain. And you can see that on the depth gauge, it's just a little bit on the top that was taken off. That tool's really cool because you, you really can't go any deeper if, if you put the tool on there. Oops. If you put the tool on there, you can see that, you know, when you file, it's not going to let you go any deeper. Um, minute amount, but it does make a difference on the way the chain works. So then, um, it's nice having a good sharp chainsaw because it'll cut through wood better. You can tell when you need to sharpen is what you should be seeing when you are using a chainsaw would be like little um, shavings of, of wood going through. Now, if you're, you're cutting with a chainsaw and you start seeing like sawdust or like powder, definitely time to sharpen your saw. Well, there you have it. The way I sharpen a chainsaw, I thought it was a really good idea to do it with this, especially that I bought that Oregon chainsaw sharpening kit. It's a really cool kit for a, a real inexpensive price. Anyhow, it's really good to make sure that your chainsaws are sharpened. It can, you know, save your body because if a chain is working properly, it pretty much cuts itself. You don't have to push and force it, you know. If you're forcing it, then more likely you need to sharpen. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos with your friends. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.